Today I received a parcel and guess what's inside? It is Under Armour newest shoe. So they are about to release it soon, but I'm allowed to test it beforehand. So I'm not allowed to share this video yet, but you can watch this video as soon as it's released. But so cool. So I've not been taking a look at it. I received some documents beforehand saying like the key features, the new innovations, but I want to take a look at it. Don't need that. A shirt? Nice, but I'll save this for later. The shoe. Alright, so let's open it up. Cool feature. It's connectable. A lot of the Under Armour shoes are connectable to the app, but I'll show this to you later. Okay. There we go. So this shoe is called Under Armour Velocity Wind. The biggest feature about this shoe is I think the sole, because what they made, and I think that's super cool, like if you take a look at the regular shoe. This is my favorite shoe so far, it's the Under Armour Machina. And as a regular shoe, it has some cushioning, and below the cushioning you can see the rubber. With this shoe, it's one piece. There is nothing else. And I think this is a super cool technology. So there are already some shoes like this in the market, but they said the development of that uh, cushioning compound, it's called Flow by the way. This cushioning compound is for having less abrasion, it's more durable and what I think is super interesting is that it has a low compression. So when you're running long distances, it's it's not getting compressed and the shoe should feel the same after a long run. I need to test that out, I think. But let's take a look at the technical details. Neutral drop of eight millimeters. What I like because there are a lot of shoes in the market that have a drop of 10 or even 12 and I think less is better but my opinion. The front has 18 millimeters, the back has 26. So this means sure eight millimeters but it also means that this shoe is a lot flatter compared to like the Machina. But um, if we take a look at the weight and this is I think where it's going to be super interesting. Okay, we need to weight it and we need to compare it. So let's start off with the Machina. Okay, you need to consider one thing beforehand. I'm not a small person and if you take a look at that, you can see I'm running a 13, which is big. So the shoe might be a bit heavier for my size. 369 grams goes for the Machina. And the lightest shoe of Under Armour so far is the Velocity. Velocity is for sure lighter with 329 grams. And now taking a look at the Velocity Wind, which goes for 281. Ah, oh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm like seriously excited to test that one out. But taking a closer look, when it comes to the design, you can judge. Write it down in the comments. But when it comes to the upper material, it's a super lightweight material and they have been stitching these shapes on it. So it's giving you some stability and avoiding you like slipping around in the shape. But I think these are all things that need to be tested. <laughs> Okay, so before I can go out for a run, I want to connect my shoe to the app and i show you how it works. So I have... Okay, this was a bit easier than I thought. So I was just opening up the app and in the app it just popped up. Want to connect this shoe. Okay, it's providing me with an update and in the meantime... I'm searching for a cap because we have minus 10 or something outside right now. And there we go. This is how it looks. Shoe is connected, shoe is ready to, to be run with and that's what I'm doing now. So today is the official release and therefore I can now come up with a conclusion. 
So I've done a couple of test runs, each between like 12 and 17k. And what I found out is, I mean, I tested it on trails, roads, different surfaces, ice, snow, stuff like that. If you look at the sole, the shoe is not made for trails, but the Machina is not made for trails neither. The Machina works on trails quite well without having the proper grip for it. I think this shoe is not working too good on trails. So this is definitely a shoe you would rather run on gravel roads or like regular roads. When it comes to the fit, I am wearing the same size for this shoe as I'm wearing for all the other shoes from Under Armour, which is quite cool. I really like that consistency through all of their models. It fits, speaking for myself, quite regular. So it's not a super wide shoe, it's not a super narrow shoe, so it's uh, like somewhere in the middle, which I think is super cool because if you have a shoe that is like somewhere in the middle, you can, depending on how you lace the laces, adjust the shoe to your feet. So this is what I've done, but I'll, if you want to have a video actually on how to lace your shoes depending on how your feet are looking like, uh, write it down in the comments and I'll do a video about that because I think this is a super important topic. But back to the shoe. The shoe has like some sort of stability going on here in this area. It's a neutral shoe, it's considered as a neutral shoe, but for me it feels like as there is a minimal support and I like that. Talking about the upper material, so the upper material is pretty thin. I mean you can even see through, so it's not the perfect shoe for cold temperatures. I don't care about that, but I think other people could care. So this is something you need to consider. It's a shoe that is definitely made for spring summer temperatures but not for very cold weather so to sum it up um stop i forgot to talk about the app so there is an app that connects to the shoe the app gets data from your shoes there's a sensor in your shoe and you can get information like your cadence your ground contact time stride length and all of these things but what's pretty cool about that is that you can get live feedback during your run like with your headset telling you if your cadence is on point or if you should change your running style a tiny bit to improve to run faster to run more efficient stuff like that but I'll make a separate de review about the app because the app works with a lot of Under Armour shoes and a lot of shoes have that feature, not only the Flow Velocity Wind, also other shoes got that, so I just want to mention it here, the shoe got it, pretty cool feature, but I'll do a separate video about it. So to sum it up, what I like about this shoe is that it's lightweight, um, that it's super comfortable, I, I really like running in that shoe. but. On the other side, what I don't like about that shoe is that it's not 100% versatile. It's not made for any surface, but considering that this is a shoe that is made for speed, you need to cut off at some points, which is fair. So all in all, depending on what you want to have, if you want to go for like a shoe that is a bit more comfy, you rather go for the Hover series, so all the shoes that have Hover in their name. But if you want something that is a bit lighter, or if you like like other shoes like the Nike Epic React or like back then the Nike Free I think it was called, then it is definitely worth trying out this one. Alright, so I think that's it. Um, I'll definitely consider this shoe as worth trying it out. If you've done so, give me your feedback. I'm interested in hearing what you think about it. And if you want to know more about running, running technique and all these things, uh, make sure to subscribe my channel, hit that like button and see you in the next video.